currently, I say we, me and my boyfriend Brad are currently in Dublin for his birthday. Um, I bought it him for like a Christmas birthday present. It's actually his birthday today, so happy birthday Brad. And we are here in the hotel. We got a really, really, really early flight at like um, six o'clock in the morning. I thought it was a really good idea that so we'd have the whole day, but then I remembered that the flight was half an hour, so we got here at like seven. <laughs> um, got straight on the bus and went straight to the hotel. Um, we were scared we weren't going to be able to check in, but we actually um, were fine. We just had a coffee and then we checked in, and then, as you can see, we've already kind of used the bed because um, we had a quick nap because we were tired. And now I've done my um, makeup. I need to do my hair. Brad's in the shower, if you can hear. I've had a shower too. And then we're gonna go out and explore, maybe have some brunch, and then we're going to the Guinness Storehouse, Storehouse? Guinness Storehouse later as well. So that's really fun. I've been to um, Dublin before, but not for like eight years or something, seven years, something stupid like that. So it's kind of new to me again as well. Um, God, I need to sort this hair out. Um, but I'll take you along, and um, I need to clean up this room a little bit, and then I'll give you a room tour as well. Brad's a little bit camera shy, so maybe we'll hopefully get him on camera. Who knows? This is our room. So this is the door, and you, as you walk straight in, there's like a bathroom to your right. And it's got a really nice mirror. And then... It's really cool actually, because you like control everything by these buttons. Not buttons, um, touchy thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there's the shower, which is a little bit steamy, steamy, because we just used it. But it's one of those um, waterfall showers, so it's really nice. And they have their own like products, which were good, smell nice as well. And then there's Bradley, happy birthday! <laughs> um, and then you come over here. It is a little bit small, but it's kind of all you need for like a weekend. And then there's a little desk area, which has got all my stuff on already. And then there's like a little wardrobe area. And I've actually been really good and taken out the clothes and um, put them all out. So they're all ready to go. Then there's a nice big mirror here. And then just the bed and a big TV. Um, but you can do this, look. Um, if you just wave it, uh, you can like turn off all the lights and then turn them back on. And then you can close the curtains from here as well, look. <laughs> so it's pretty cool if you ask me. It's called Ren, what's it called? Ren Urban Nest, and it's actually Dublin's most sustainable hotel, which is quite cool. They also have, what did you say it was? Oh, still Irish water, plant-based. Plant Don't forget that this water is plant-based. Um, oh, gluten-free crisps, two pound fifty. Two pound fifty for the crisps. Yeah. This, this like booking this hotel was fine because I think it's pretty new, so they had some like January deals on, but the the actual like restaurant and kind of things inside um, are a bit spenny, aren't they? Mm -hmm. uh, cleaning these shoes. Okay, well once he's finished cleaning up them nice <laughs> shoes, you get them for Christmas off me. Sure, um, we're gonna go and have a wonder. We don't, we haven't actually got the Guinness Storehouse till four, and it's only 20 past 11. So we've got time to, you know, I was gonna say mingle, I don't mean mingle, I mean mooch. So I'll let you know what we do.
Guinness Storehouse tour. Now, we kind of, I can't really remember when the last time I spoke. Oh, it was before um, we went out. We kind of just had a wonder, but we were, we were lagging a little bit, so we came back and had a nap <laughs> before the Guinness Storehouse tour. But that was, you know, a good move because then we are feeling, feeling good now, feeling fine. And the Guinness Storehouse tour was so good. Um, for a gluten-free girly like me, if anyone out there, you do get a cider at the end if you desire but we did do the the selfie um option and brad just had both of mine so uh but we got some little um goodies goodies ooh. <laughs> um we got this um pel is it pelican yes no toucan toucan bag um well this one's brad's i always i I also got one uh, because we're disgusted and match now. Ew. And then Brad also got himself a little birthday present. So he got this little, um, I want to say print, but it's not, it's like wooden. Like, what do you call it? <laughs> wooden artwork. Wooden artwork. So Wooden day for a guess. Yeah. Um, I think it's quite cool actually, quite vintage. Esque. Um, but now we are going out for dinner at this like plant based Michelin guide restaurant because we're really fancy. Um, but I actually saw this girl on TikTok go there and it looked really good. And uh, Brad's vegan, so have to have to keep him happy on his birthday, I suppose. Um, um, I accidentally stopped recording, but I was just showing my outfit, and it's just this it's a black dress and a black blazer and a belt and I wore it like two New Year's Eves ago if anyone cares but yeah we're gonna go out now and I'm gonna leave the camera here because we might go to some bars afterwards and I you know don't want to damage my precious new camera ready to go? ready to go turn around I love this jacket and I always seal it nice Mm, tasty. Uh, 
everything is hard when you are on the run. Every single moment I lost with confusion. I don't know where to go. But would you lead my way? Cause navigation is never a thing I'm good for. Lose my mind trying to get yours. I don't actually know how much you could hear me because we we're in a really really quiet cafe so I was kind of whispering anyway and then as soon as we got into the prison tour um they said no filming so I do have a few photos that I can kind of put on the screen now so you can see see it because you're allowed to take photos just not videos which I think is a bit odd but you know whatever floats their boat it was really interesting but um, the guy that was doing it, like there was two people with notebooks that, that also worked there. So from the from the start, I thought, oh my god, he's being marked. He's been like tested on whether he's he's good. And so like that's all I could think about. I could only think about whether he was like getting marked well because I wanted him to do well. Um, so although I was <laughs> I was listening to the facts and information, and it was really interesting. I was also just thinking, God. I hope he's not failing his little test. Although that could that, that that might not have been what was happening, but in my head it was. Um, and then we had a wander into some like art exhibition, which was um kind of weird. It was like about um behind the screen and like really zoomed in on like the screens. <laughs> I don't know. And then we just had a walk, and then we kind of like. I wanted some lunch but I mean I'm gluten free and Brad's vegan so it's always kind of tricky to find somewhere that accommodates for both both of those things um we are a bit of a nightmare when it comes to going out so but anyway we found a place called nut butter I found it on tiktok because I just find everything on tiktok so we went there and it was actually really nice um but then it was kind of far like we've done so much walking today um, although my Apple Watch died, so. Um, but we got the bus back, and we didn't realise you had to actually have a, like a card that you top up money on. So if you go to, if you come to Dublin and you want to get the bus, you need to get like a card from a shop, and then you top money up on it. Although we did, we were like, oh, keep a card, and the the bus driver was like, no, you need this card, but just get on for free. He was really nice, so maybe try that as well. <laughs> I don't know. So we had, we just got a free bus ride. But now we're back in the hotel, as you can see, it's been nicely cleaned, got a nice little fresh bed. Um, and I just kind of need a little bit of a rest before we go to the Jameson's Distillery later. Then probably go out for dinner, but um, we didn't really go out to any pubs properly yesterday. Like, you know, the classic Temple Bar pubs. So we will do that tonight because we just had we ran out of energy yesterday. So I'd rather like get some energy now so we can go out to them later. So yeah, that is what we are doing. I'm just gonna chill now. I think I've got lipstick on my chin that whole time. Great. Um but yeah, I will catch you. Catch you. Ew. See you in a bit. Freaking for the weekend, we've been breaking borders, leaving speeches. Haters talk about all us, leaving teethless. Women I have slaughtered cause they decent. I'm coming for their daughters, leave them decent. Peach you, you was all up in the creases. You don't hang with ballers, said we beefing. If I don't get the call, then man, we need this. Yeah, what? Yeah, me.
And then we flew home, as you can see, and um, we've been home now for like two weeks. I'm sorry it's taken so long to kind of get this video out. Um, yeah, and we had such, such a good time. I'd recommend Dublin. To so many people, it's just an expensive city. So just if you're going, just kind of take that into consideration. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed another little um, getaway vlog with me. I love doing these ones and um, yeah, let me know if there's anywhere you think I should go really visit. Thank you.